With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, it is given that the focal length of a convex mirror is obtained by using a convex lens. The following observation were recorded during the experiment. So object position, we know 5 cm, lens position 35.4, image is 93.8 cm. Uh, this mirror location is 63.3 centimeter and, and the bench error is given as to be negative this is a negative error 0.1 centimeter we need to determine what is the focal length of the mirror now we know that this uh, convex mirror uh, to determine the convex mirror because it it is not a converging type of a mirror it is a diverging type of a mirror now to get the value of the focal length it is very difficult okay so we use an indirect method by using the help by taking the help of a convex lens how do we do it now for example let's say this is our principal axis okay we take an object let's say this is the location of the object okay now if we introduce a uh, this uh, convex lens let's say this is our convex lens this is our convex lens now so uh, if there are light ray which are coming let's say this is the light ray which is coming okay from the convex lens so what will happen they would be converging okay they would be converging and it would be forming an image okay so if, if it is if it is sufficient distance from the focus okay that is it if it is away from the focus now what we do we introduce a uh, this uh, convex mirror of which focal length we need to determine okay now how do we do it so we move uh, we move I uh, change the position of the mirror or the lens in such a way so that the final image coincide with the object itself okay the final image would coincide with the object itself so what is uh, uh, the possibility when the final image would be coinciding with the object itself when it would be possible only when the ray which uh, which uh, goes from the lens it should meet normally okay on the mirror so that it should retrace the path and the final image is formed here now if there is no mirror what will happen if there is no mirror so this uh, uh, this ray of light would come okay and form the image on the principal axis itself if there is no mirror okay so this is the location of the image if there is no mirror so this is how uh, what we have been given that means what would be the distance from here to here now if the if uh, this light is retracing the path okay in in the presence of the mirror and the convex uh, lens if the light is retracing its path that means it should be hitting normally now it should be hitting normally that means what would be the distance from here to here this distance it should be equals to the radius of curvature that means this distance should be equals to radius of curvature now we know what is the location of our uh, this uh, mirror it is given as to be 63.5 this is the position okay so it position is given as to be 63.5 sorry 63.3 centimeter what is the location of the image so image would be formed here when there is no uh, convex mirror when there would be a convex mirror then image would be formed here so when there is no convex mirror the image is formed at a uh, distance of 93 point or we can say that the position is 93.8 centimeter now what would be our radius of curvature we can simply say that what would be the distance this r would be equals to so 93.8 because these are the position these are not the distances minus 63.3 now if we solve this it would turn out to be 30.5 okay 30.5 centimeter now it is given that there is a bench error and it is a negative error so what would be the true value of the radius of curvature true value we just say that rt this would be equals to 30.5 plus our negative error which is equals to 0.1 so this would be the true value of the radius of curvature would be equals to 30.6 centimeter so if this is the radius of curvature what is the focal length true focal length it would be equals to r divided by 2 rt value the true value divided by 2 so if you divide it by 2 it would be 15.3 centimeter so which is the correct option 15.3 centimeter that means c is our correct option hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today